Hello, as you know, my name is Kain Sun, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to be solving the 10 of our 30 days challenge uh, in Hacker Rank, and today is binary numbers. This is going to be interesting because it talks about the concepts we all need to know. The task is giving a base 10 integer n, convert it to binary base 2, then find and print the base 10 integer denoting the maximum number of consecutive ones in n's binary representation. When working with different bases, it is common to show the base as a subscript. Okay, let's understand what we are required. So in this case, we have, let's look at this case, we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, that is five ones, and here we have one one, one single one here, five ones. So the maximum number of, of ones is five, and we return five. Now let's go to my whiteboard and let's see how it plays out, and let me just explain it to you uh, before we actually do it. All right, so let me show you the steps we need to follow to solve this problem. So if we have, you are, you are first given a number, let's say, Five, two, two, three, four, and this number is in base ten. And you want to find out the number of ones, the maximum number of ones in the binary representation. So the first thing we want to do is to convert this to binary, and it's going to give us. If I can use my calculator, maybe let's try to use Google this time. So let me get back here and go to. 2, 3, 4, 2, binary, I don't know if it works, but let's see, I've not done it before. Oh, it works. So in this case, we have this. Let me just copy this and get back here. Sorry, I get back here and I'm going to just paste it right here. All right, so this is what we have. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So I'm going to just write it out here. So this is one 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 zero one zero one zero. All right. So we're expected to count the number of ones. So what we are going to do is that we are going to count one, two, three. Okay, that is three, and we count zero. It means that we start another count. In this case, one. We have one, and. We count again, we have zero. So we start another count, we have one. So in this case, we are going to return three. So how does it play out in code? So the first thing you need to do, after you've gotten the binary representation, you are going to now say for i, for i in, so let me just undo, for i in binary, let's say s bin. So what we are going to check now, before now, we should have count, and because we are counting the number of i's, and we have the current max. Let's call it C max. So we are going to start counting, and we are going to say if the number is one, we are going to increment the count. So I'm going to say here, if i is one, Right, what, what are we going to do? I'm going to increment the count by saying count plus plus. This is pseudo code, this is not a Python syntax. Now, else, what am I going to do? Else, we now have count, we also have the current maximum. So, we are going to return, we are going to set the current maximum based on the count, right. So the current count is a current count, which always we reset. Each time we encounter zero, we are going to reset the current count and start counting. But we also have the existing maximum. In this case, it was three. So what I'm going to do now, we are going to now first set the, the current maximum based on the count. So if this count is greater, we set it the current maximum to the count. So the simple line to do it is simply say current maximum should now be the maximum of the two. The maximum of count and C max. So that's what the current maximum will be. And once you set it, in this case, if i is one, count plus plus, else i is zero, we are going to now set the 
the current maximum and the, we are going to reset our count to zero. At the end of the loop, we now print. Now we are going to now print the maximum of the two as well. Because we also have a count counting and we have a current maximum, we are going to print out the current maximum of the count and the current maximum. Now you can use an if else if statement to say if count is equal to, then if count is greater than maximum or current maximum, print count else. But this is the shorter way of doing it. All right, enough talking. Let's now go back. Let's now go back to HackerRank and now solve it. So let's come here. So we have the input has been provided for us. So I'm going to now say, um, first we are going to convert the number to binary. So I'm going to say, n binary is equal to what? Bin n. So this converts the number to a binary. But since we want to look through this as a string, I'm going to also convert it to a string using str function. So we now have a string. So I'm going to say for, let's say for i in nbin, for i in nbin if, remember we need to initialize our maximum and current maximum. So let's just come here and say current max, is equal to zero and count is equal to zero as well. Okay, so this is what we have right here. So if count, sorry, if i, if i is equal to one, we are going to increase count because we just found an, a one, okay? So if i is equal to uh, one so it's gonna be double equals what I, what we are going to do is to say count is equal to count plus one else count is equal to zero now if count is equal to zero we are going to reset the current maximum based on we are going to set the current maximum based on the count and also we are going to reset the count to zero so I'm going to say current maximum now gets the maximum of count and current max and then we reset our count to zero because we now haven't counted zero. So I'm going to say count equals zero and at the end of the loop I'm going to now print the maximum of count and current max. So at this point we should have um, we should have printed out the, 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 the maximum of this tool. You can use an if cell, if else if statement or if else statement, but I think it's better to do it in one line. Let's try to see how we've done. So let me go to run the code. So it passed the sample test case zero and test case one. So I'm going to submit. Let's see if it works. Right, so everything is all green, all the eight test cases we have passed. So I think we've done so well. I'd like to give you a thumbs up for having come this far. And I also want to thank you for being there. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any challenges, please leave me a comment below. And we see in the next part. Remember, I'm kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.